This is ABC Columbia News at 11. Good evening, and thank you for joining us for ABC Columbia News at 11. I'm Rochelle Dean. And I'm Doug Kern. A nice evening to be out there right now. What can we expect overnight? When we wake up in the morning, let's get a first check. That's right. Meteorologist James Scott joining us now with a look at your current conditions. How are things shaping up, James? Guys, it was a perfect day to celebrate a national championship. Seeing you guys earlier really looked beautiful outside. Yeah, the clouds built on in, but winds on the south and west. We saw plentiful sunshine, at least during the earlier afternoon hours, really first half of the day. That was enough to get us in the 70s and 80s across the board, 83 right here in Columbia. And the start to the work week, absolutely gorgeous. Monday, Tuesday, now today, Wednesday, not bad at all. 79 in Saluda, 81 over in Manning, 83 in Sumter, and 81 down Aiken. Those are the highs, of course, now cooling on down as we head to the 11 o'clock hour. 60s and 70s all around the ABC Columbia viewing area, including 70 right here in the Soda City. 60 on the dot, 10 degrees cooler over in Saluda, 69 in Aiken, and 67 in Orangeburg. Still a little bit on the breezy side, not quite as gusty as it was earlier in the day with that parade, but still seeing gusts upwards of 15 to 20 miles per hour in areas like Winsboro and Lexington. So the heat continues into tomorrow, mid to lower 80s on the way. That really depends on when those storms move on in. We do have a low end severe threat for tomorrow. I'll walk you through those storms and when to expect them. That's coming up in just a few minutes. Guys. All right, James, thank you very much. In the news tonight, a Richland County gang member has been sentenced to life in prison for a fatal shooting back in 2015. The 11th Circuit solicitor says under South Carolina law, Leonard Mickens Jr. is not eligible for parole. In August of 2015, authorities say Mickens was trying to kill a rival gang member at the River Oaks apartment complex, but instead he fatally shot 29-year-old Dante Doyle who was outside his apartment smoking a cigarette, Mickens will be taken to the State Department of Corrections to serve his life sentence. And the Richland County Sheriff's Department says gang violence continues to have a presence here in the Midlands. ABC Columbia's Maya Payton shares the latest efforts from the Midlands Gang Task Force. With the rash of shootings in recent months, there's always the concern that it could be connected to gang activity. We caught up with the gang task force to see what can be done to curb gang violence. If your choice is to stay in the, into, in the gang way of life, jail or death. Right now we're seeing an uptick in shootings. Those are their two choices. Investigator Marie Morris with the Richland County Sheriff's Office is a member of the Midlands Gang and Fugitive Task Force. I asked her if gang activity has increased or decreased in the county. Well, a little bit of both. A decrease because we are putting our task force is putting a lot of these gang members away. And our federal counterparts are helping with making sure that their jail sentences are a lot stiffer than they'd usually be. But at the same time, as long as we have juveniles out there, as long as we have people out there that want to commit these crimes and want to be part part of an organization that um, that partake in gang activity, then we're going to have, you know, fluctuate both ways. Investigator Morris says the county has a lot of hybrid gangs, which are smaller gangs that are under the umbrella of larger gangs. The name of their neighborhood is the name they give themselves. And they are just as dangerous because there's no type of structure or form. They're just out there committing crimes and not worrying about who they hurt. She says there are ways the community can help by reporting gang activity. So if you see maybe an, an uptick in graffiti in your neighborhood, if you're seeing break-ins to homes or cars, valuables being stolen, you might think, all right, maybe there's something going on. If you see maybe around late at night when kids shouldn't be out walking the neighborhoods, but you're seeing that along with the uptick in, in break-ins and stuff like that. If you do suspect gang activity in your neighborhood, Morris says always contact the police and let them handle it. In Columbia, I'm Maya Payton. ABC Columbia News.